Happy New Year! Lee Varis here with the first Phototech Tuesday of the year. Each week I'll be posting a new video about photography, technology, art, and everything in between, including AI. Uh, anyway, today I'll be showing you how to get a grunge look in Lightroom, uh, and we'll also take a quick little visit in, into Photoshop. So the grunge look is, is actually related to a late 90s uh, garage band style of rock music that started in Seattle, and uh, it's, it's had a resurgence of popularity in the world of fashion and art. It's characterized by dark tones and contrast with desaturated colors and, and generally sort of an edgy and gloomy look. All right, so let's just, let's just dive right here, right into Lightroom here. Okay, so uh, we're going to explore our grunge look here with, um, with this collection of decidedly ungrunge-like uh, images uh, that were all from uh, my wife Bobby Lane's Portraits Unplugged workshop uh, in Austin a little while ago. Anyway, we have a bunch of really lovely, almost kind of fashion-like images. This was for a Portraits Unplugged workshop, so there's no artificial lighting. Uh, and uh, these are not in any way close to being grunge. Uh, they're, they're not dark, they're not edgy or, or desaturated, and they're kind of lovely, actually. Um, so let's, let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at this. So really soft, really pretty light here, and uh, um, she's not kind of wearing like black clothing or torn jeans or anything like that that would indicate that kind of grunge look. Uh, but uh, let's let's just see if usually we think of grunge as, as having as being this sort of contrasty, darker kind of look. And you know, if we add contrast like this, you know, using the contrast slider, we're we're starting from the middle uh, of the range and kind of spreading the tones out. Uh, and so that means that the highlights are going to you know, get brighter and the darks are going to get darker. And on, in this particular image, this is not really helping to create that look. Um, so we can, we, can do, we can do quite a bit using techniques that I normally use with infrared capture. So let's, let's see how to add contrast to this image in an interesting way and that will kind of support that grungy, edgy, dirty, uh, dark, uh, desaturated kind of look. Um, so what we're going to do is instead of using the contrast lighter, let's, let's do, let's start by making the image as uncontrasty as possible. So we're going to flatten the contrast by lowering the highlights and we'll just go all the way. I'm going to elevate the shadows go all the way. Um, and now you can see it's it's even flatter looking, but we're going to add contrast using the dehaze, and uh, we'll just kind of go for the gusto here. So we're going to crank it all the way, and that's added. What what happens with the dehaze slider is it sort of adds contrast. It's almost like unsharp mask. What it's doing, but it's it's a darkening the highlight values faster than it is. Uh, lightening the shadow values in, in, in the way it's being applied. So it's adding contrast, but it's also it's adding more contrast in the highlights than it does in the shadows. Um, and, you know, if we just kind of double click on this, I could take it on and off, right? And that's all the way on. The problem with this, whenever we add contrast sort of globally, it, it saturates the shadows. So, um, and I, I've done another video on this before, um, uh, on desaturating the shadows. And, and basically what we do is we make a luminance range mask. So I'll go to the mask panel here and under range, I'll select luminance range. And then I find like the darkest dark shadow and I'll click on that. And so now only the darkest points, you can kind of see in my purple color here, I've uh, changed the color of the overlay. Uh, you know, maybe we could, maybe this will look better with kind of a green color. So we'll put and now we can see it maybe a little easier because her hair was reddish. Um, 
and we'll work this range slider. And, and basically what I'm going to do, because the grunge look is, is sort of desaturated overall, but I'm going to, I'm going to start desaturating the shadows and extend it up into the highlights. So it's only fully targeted in the very low values here. So as I've constrained this lower box, you can kind of see the, the two numbers here. Eight is the low value now. So at starting at, let's say a level of three. So just above absolute black, it's going to desaturate a hundred percent. And then it's gradually going to ramp off of the desaturating until it gets to a uh, hundred, which is the, the clip to white kind of value here. So now let's just take the desaturation slider all the way down. And we've already got a really good start on our grunge look. We've kind of taken out quite a bit of the saturation, maybe maybe too much. So I always start this way and then I'll back off. So I'll take that that endpoint slider uh, and pull it back in until maybe the color of the chair just starts to come back in. Um, you know, let's just go for the gusto. We'll go for the whole desaturated look here. Even And in the highlight, you can still see some color because we're really taking the, the shadows. We're starting the shadows and desaturating those completely and allowing color to creep back in. So she, she still has color in her skin tone uh, and on this wall. And now I want to add some maybe additional, um, additional contrast. Let's go back to our main sliders. And maybe I'll take, you know, use the clarity just a little bit. That's going to really pull in more deepness in the shadows. And the texture slider, well, we've got a lot of texture on this wall. Let's really emphasize it because that's part of that, that grungy, edgy look. And so far, we're, we're doing okay. I want to darken this wall down. I've got some nice dark shadows on this side, kind of around the bottom of the image. Let's pull in the shadows from the top. So I'm going to go back to the mask panel. And we're going to create a new mask. And I'll, I'll use a linear gradient. And we'll start kind of in this corner. And I'm just going to pull this down. And I want to take it so that it, it doesn't cross over her too much. Right? But I'm sort of maximizing how much uh, I'm targeting this, this wall here. And uh, let's, let's darken it. So we'll take the, take the exposure down and get that really dark kind of look and maybe even desaturate it some more. Yeah, so we desaturate it actually makes it look a little bit darker. And then, you know, maybe to finish it all off, I'll go and uh, we'll do, um, in, in the effects, uh, we'll add a post-crop vignetting. So we'll just add a little extra darkness on it. So now I'm, I've gone from this pretty sweet, high-key look to something that's a lot more uh, edgy and kind of rock and roll. Um, so let's, let's take a look at that. So here is our history. And here's how it started off in the beginning. So <laughs> really open, really fluffy, beautiful, and not edgy at all. And we end up here. Right. So so this is a, maybe a kind of an extreme look that we can um, we can save this as as a preset. Um, so if we go over here uh, under our presets here, I can add a preset. I'll create a preset. I'm going to put it in my user presets group and we'll call this grunge. call it, I don't know, grunge one or something. And basically, I, I'm i going to uncheck the things that I that I'm not really changing, right, in in this, um, in this preset. So I'm not changing the treatment of the profile. Uh, I'm not doing anything with color mixer, uh, or color grading. Uh, I am not doing anything with a detail slider, I'm not doing anything with lens corrections or transform. Um, I'm not doing anything with high dynamic range or, or calibration, but I am using post crop vignetting, so I'll leave that checked. Uh, I might, well, I'm not using grain, so I'll go ahead and uncheck that. I am uh, using masking, but I'm not going to check, well, maybe I have to check those. I have to check mask one because that's our desaturating effect. Um, and I'm not using the curve, so I'll take that out of it. 
Um, basically, I'll leave all the basic things checked. Um, I think that that gives us a good starting place. And then I'll hit create and it's going to go into the user profiles or user presets there. Oh, look, I already have one. So uh, I'm going to replace it. Okay. So then when we come back here under user presets, I do have a grunge one look, right? That's that's giving me that that preset. Let's see if we can apply that preset to another image. Let's let's look at this image. Now this one already has a lot more contrast to it, but let's go ahead and see if popping that grunge preset in. Oh yeah, boy, it made it really dark and 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 very very edgy. But now I can come back and maybe adjust. Um, my pro my exposure here kind of bring it back up right and i'm still getting that sort of grungy look uh, with the desaturation in the shadows there's a there's that same mask is there um and um okay so that's that's kind of cool let's just see uh again what the progress is from from, from the uh, original really kind of soft and pretty much more of a fashion, you know, kind of a Vogue fashion sort of look to the grungy garage band rock and roll look. All right, let's 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 try one more here. Again, very, very flat. Let's go through the process again instead of just applying the preset. Uh, so what we did, uh, we brought the highlights down. Uh, I brought the shadows up. Um, I brought the dehaze up. And, you know, we can, let's just go ahead. We'll go all the way with it. And then uh, because you can kind of see the shadows are getting extra saturated here from that move, uh, I want to desaturate all those shadow values. So I'll use my luminance range and pick a, a black shadow somewhere. She has a nice dark one in her hair here, so I'll pick that. And we can see all those areas that are targeted at, and we're going to trim it down just a little bit more to about that three level. And then we'll, we'll bring up, let's just go all the way with this and then take the saturation down and see what we get. So we have taken a lot of color out of her hair, um, but it's, it is helping us with that grunge look by adding extra contrast into her clothing and really darkening the background down and desaturating it. We can, we can kind of go, uh, maybe overall, we can take some saturation down just a little bit. And uh, again, maybe add a little clarity, add some, some texture. Now this is, it is kind of messing with her face. She's getting it's making her face look a little bit dirty. Um, we can fix that. Um, and let's again compare this to the original. So back to the way it was imported. She's in rear, very clean, pale skin. Uh, and all that grunge sort of put some texture and stuff back in her skin, which we may or may not want, right? So let's let's make uh, let's make two versions of this. So um, uh, let's go back. I'm going to go back to my import. I'll leave that. And I'm going to make a virtual copy. So I'm going to go photo, virtual copy. Now we have we have two, right? So we'll go back to the, the original one. And I'm going to reapply our final look. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to open select both of these and I'm going to open them as layers in Photoshop. So I'm going to go here, um, photo, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. And now it's loading the layers in and here we go. And we've got the grunge look on top of the clean look, right? So <laughs> in case you haven't guessed, we can blend these two together all kinds of different ways. I can simply do an opacity blend, or we can use a layer mask. And uh, so I'm, you know, clicking on the layer mask icon here. I've got black in my foreground color. Let's take a brush 
and we'll zoom in because it was the face that I was thinking maybe it's a little too grungy now. So um, let's let's uh, open up that brush here. And I'm going to brush with black in the layer mask to hide um, this top layer. So now I'm bringing back the smooth skin. Right? Just brushing that in. And, uh, you know, maybe now let's, let's edit the mask. So I'm going to look at, since the mask is highlighted here, if I look at our settings for the mask, the properties for the layer mask, I now have this density slider. So while I'm looking at this, I can maybe bring back just a little bit um, by making the, the dark mask less dense. I'm bringing back a little bit of the that that grunge texture and I think that looks pretty good to me there okay so let's uh, let's zoom back out all right pretty cool we'll do this one more time go back to Lightroom again very similar let's take a look at this one um, same sort of thing I can actually apply the preset here let's go ahead and do that my preset and there's my grunge preset really pretty crunchy in there uh, we can maybe add a little bit of a little bit of brightness since this one image is a bit darker and I'm thinking that I want to desaturate this red so I'm going to go down to my color grading or uh, my color mixer here I think basically I don't have to do point color or anything I can just desaturate the red so let's go ahead and do that. Desaturate the red a little bit. And that's starting to look pretty cool. Uh, maybe I'll add some more darkening the shadow of value just a little bit. So again, once you have these presets in place, that doesn't mean you're stuck with them. You can keep editing because really basically all it's doing is it's setting up sliders. This would be a, little, a bit different than using a lookup table, which is kind of baked in and there are no sliders to adjust. Um, but in a preset, we can easily do that. Again, let's do the same thing. Let's um, uh, let me back up. I'll, I'll come back to the way this was imported. We'll do our create virtual copy and I'll come back here and reapply what we ended up with and let's open this up uh, we're gonna select both of them and edit in open as layers again there we are and let's um, let's put that layer mask on there again get my brush And it just it looks kind of cool <laughs> but let's just uh, undo some of that because the skin is just like way too unless you really want the ugly look I mean if it was a Halloween image or something like that maybe right? let's smooth it all up here because we want her to look good and uh, you know maybe maybe the the hairy belly let's <laughs> Let's fix that so it doesn't look quite so quite so textured. So we're doing a little bit. We're bringing a little bit of that fashion thing back, <laughs> you know, make her look good. And I think a little bit of her hand shows here and the legs. Oh, yeah, we definitely want to trim those legs back. So all I'm doing is brushing with black, and, you know, and it's since I, I'm masking one image on top of the other. I don't really have to be all that crazy careful. And we are going to, um, we're going to modify the, the 
properties of the mask to change the density so it can bring back some more of that um, grunge look. Now, see here, I've gone outside the mask and you can see that little red line. So I'm going to, I can just flip the color around and brush now with white back in there. I'm, I'm not going to get too crazy with this. All right, let's zoom back out and let's do our trick with the with the properties for the mask and the density of the mask. And I'll just bring back just a very little bit of it. And if we if I toggle on and off now, you can kind of see there's our original. There's our new grunge version. Kind of cool. All right. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I have one other idea. So let's, um, let's go ahead and save that. And we'll go back to Lightroom. And here I want to, since it's so much easier to do this in Lightroom, I'm going to do the post crop vignetting here. So I'm going to just really darken that down to get that even more of that dark, grungy look. All right. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And hopefully this has provided some inspiration for your own work with the grunge aesthetic. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss another Phototech Tuesday. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.